guys. I hope you had a great holiday weekend. And you probably have vacation from school this week, so I hope you're doing something. Sorry, I said that. Hope you're doing something fun, relaxing, all that jazz. But it is fitness month. So, I actually saw an idea where they had letters, you know, all the letters of the alphabet, with a different exercise you've reached on, and you spell out your name to figure out what you're going to do. So I made my own, because the other one was, like, really intense. So, I'm going to take a picture of this, and I'm going to give you five minutes. Your job is to find all the letters of your name. For example, I have seven jumping jacks, and then 12 jab cross, and then L, six hook kicks, E, five squats, I, again, 12 jab cross, G, 10 jumping jacks, and seven roundhouse kicks. So, that's what I have to do. Your job is to spell out your own name. Deal? Alright. So, ready, get set, go!
All right, so now we're gonna practice something for your self-defense before we like actually put it together. I'm using something because we're going to. Oh, that made worse. Okay, one sec. But I have a squishy pad because we are going to be turning and kneeling. I'll show you. This is what we're gonna be doing. Like that. And I don't want to slam my knee into the ground. But you can do this, you know, slower. I was actually doing with my self-defense. I wouldn't exactly be slamming my knee into the ground. But I'm just gonna use this for now. You can use something too when I do this in in-person classes. I'll give you tombstones or whatever. Um, you can use something like a focus shield or a pillow or nothing if you're on carpet. I'm on carpet, I just feel like using this. But I don't suggest doing it on hardwood with nothing. So, or tile. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to start, place one foot on the side, like that, and the other foot behind. Right? When we do this on the fence, we're really standing like this. So you could do it like this, but I mean, that's awkward. So for now, move one foot forward, one foot back. So from the side, it looks like that. Okay? Kind of like a mini front stance. Now, we're going to turn towards the direction our foot that's on the back. So right now, put this foot up. This is my right foot, but I don't know if this flips it. So whichever foot to you looks like it's on the same side, like I'm doing mirror image, put it in the front and the other one in the back. So we're going to turn this way. We're going to turn our feet and drop our knee to the ground, like that. Okay? Do that again. Now turn and drop. Turn our hips and drop our knee. Okay, now important detail this. You'll understand why later. I'll tell you. We don't want to leave our foot up like this. We want to drop our foot down, like that. It's easier to see if it's actually on the ground. Like that. See my feet are flat. Put your feet flat and then put your feet up. This is what we don't want. Don't want up, we want down. Cool? Alright, so here we go. You are going to go here, drop to me with rotation and come back up. Drop to me. Come back up. Drop to me. Come back up. One more. Me. Up. Now we're going to try the other side. So put the other foot in the back. The other foot in the front. Now we're going to turn that way. Drop. And up. Drop. Up. Drop. And up. Drop. And up. You should like feel this in your legs. It's a good workout. So, I want you to practice that motion because it's really important to the throw part of the self-defense. So you're going to go. One. You're going to do three on one side. And then you're going to do three squats. Two. Three, and then you're going to three on the other side. And then you're going to do three squats. And you're going to repeat until you run out of time. Deal? Alright, ready? Get set. Go. All right, so now I'm going to show you a video of me doing the self-defense fast with my sister. We're going to do it in the air, but I find it helps to actually see what you're doing. So I'm going to put that clip in. All right, so now we're going to break it down and actually talk about what we're doing and how we're going to do it in the air. So. We start with the part where, you know, if someone grabs our hair, we sit back, smush, peel their hand off our head. We have them in that wrist lock, okay? The next step, we're going to let go with one hand. Let go of your non, or, okay. In this case, they're attacking us with their right hand, right? So they just attacked us with their right hand. If they attack us with their right hand, we are going to keep holding on with our right hand. So, I need you to grab 
waffle marker, waffle pen, or whatever. Whatever you've been using, we're trying to tell you to do this. And you're going to write an R on it and an L on your hand. Okay? Mine are kind of sloppy. So you get the gist. See? R, L. So, that way this makes this so much easier. Someone grabs our hair. We're going to smush and peel back. Now we're going to hold on to their wrist with our right hand. Okay? We don't want to let go of them completely. Because we completely let go for us to turn around. What's going to happen? Not good stuff. Because then they're back in control of the situation. So, we want to smush, peel, and hold on to their wrist. Then, watch my feet. I'm going to step in to them and elbow. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my back to their front. So, like, if this is them, I'm like this. So I can elbow them. And then we can throw. So, ready? So we grab the hair, step back, smush, peel, hold on with our right hand, step in, and then step in, step around, elbow. One more time. Ready? Someone grabs their hair, step back, smush, peel back, hold on with our right hand, our right foot steps in, our left foot steps around. So now, we are facing away from them and they are behind us. We take our left hand, elbow, hoopa. Now, we have their arm here. We're going to do that drop and rotate. We just practiced. So we're going to rotate and we're going to throw. So basically with the rotation is what's throwing them, right? We're holding their arm so their shoulder is against our shoulder. Not completely. Let me show you. We really want their arm, like their bicep, to be on our bicep like this. So really not the bicep. It's the inside of their arm. But you get the gist. Okay, we want it there. Because if their arm is up here, they can just wrap around and choke us. If they plant their feet when we try to throw them and we rotate, we'd be choking ourselves with their arm. We don't want to do that. So, instead, I'm going to face this way to start. See, it's actually CPS. Here, ba -ba -ba. we grab, we elbow, we make sure that their arm is right here. And now, we're going to rotate. We're just going to rotate our hips and throw. If they sit... They're going to stay close to our body. The rotation is what's throwing them. All right. So, like I talked about earlier, we want our foot flat on the ground. That's because if it's up like this and they fall on our ankle, we're going to tear our Achilles tendon. That is, let me get down to the ground so I can show you this. That is the tendon. Okay. That is the tendon right here on your ankle. So, quick story time. My dad's cousin, I guess that's what you call her, aunt of sorts, I don't really know. But she told me a story about this once, right? She used to play basketball in high school. And when she did, she was, you know, on a basketball team, they were practicing or whatever. And a girl tore her Achilles tendon. Like, you could hear the tear. That's, like, that sounds disgusting. But, now, if you tear your Achilles tendon, you can't walk at all for, like, months. You need surgery, all that jazz, and you can't walk for a really long time, let alone do karate. So we don't want to do that. That's no fun. So, we lay our foot flat on the ground. That way, that if they do fall on our ankle, we aren't going to hurt ourselves. It might hurt, you know, a little bit, because they just fell on your ankle. But it's not going to be, like, injury. Like, you're not going to tear anything. That's what we don't want to do. So, we're going to put it all together. I need to move you up farther, guys. You can't see me. Well, you can, but not very well. Better. All right. So, I don't want trouble. Someone grabs our hair. Step back. Smush. Peel down. Hold on with our right hand. Right foot steps in. Left foot steps around. Left arm, elbow. And grab and turn. Okay. Since we're working on accuracy, we want to make sure we're doing that right. I'm going to add one small detail, right? So, after we elbow... We're pushing out like with our butt, and I'm going to show you why. It's actually kind of cool. If you do that, you're breaking their balance, right? You just bended them, bend it, bent them over, so now you can throw them. If they're on balance, and they're planting their feet, and they're bigger than you, you're not going to be able to throw them. But if you knock them off balance and then rotate, you'll be able to throw them. So, before I let you practice, we're going to do them one more time. I don't want any trouble. Sit back, smush, heel. Hold on with our right hand. Right foot steps in. Left foot steps around. Elbow. Foot check and throw. Alright, so I'm going to let you practice on your own. 
Oh, there's no spell. That's alright. Give you like two minutes. Maybe three minutes. Cool? Ready? Get set. Go. All right, so real quick, we're going to practice those elbows that we use in our self-defense. It is a, it's just like, actually not a lot like, exactly like the elbows in Mugger's Hold. That's this choke. When we drop down, we go elbow, elbow. Same thing, right? So we just bring our arm back. It's just like our chamber for our punches. You know, we punch and we bring it back like that. It's the same exact thing. You might want to even punch out before you open to get more power. So we are going to practice those elbows. Get in a horse stance. You're going to elbow, elbow, jumping jack. And then elbow, elbow, jumping jack. Jumping jack is kind of awkward because your feet are already out, but you know, it works. So, first we're going to talk about our elbows, and that's what we're going to get to. I'm going to have you practice that. So, when we elbow, we are hitting more with this part of our arm than like right on the bone, right? Elbow, the el fun fact, your elbow is actually the sharpest bone in your body. Cool, right? So you're gonna elbow, elbow. We're striking anywhere around here, really, right? We might not know if they're behind us, where exactly we're hitting, but we know we're gonna hit them because we can feel them right behind us, right? So you might hit the ribs, you might hit the solar plexus, you might even just hit the stomach, but if they're wrapped around you and you go elbow, bum, ba, it'll make it easier to throw them because you're also getting them off balance. And they probably weren't expecting the little kid they just grabbed the hair of. I'm not saying you're a little kid, but you get the point. The kid they just grabbed the hair of to go, fuck, 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 fuck. Not exactly expecting it. So, real quick, we got our elbows. Boom, boom. When we do this turn into it, we're adding more back of mass and power because you're moving 
into our target. So that even adds more power. Your attacker will most likely be bigger than you, but they are, you can still do stuff that actually, that's, it's effective. It's basically we're learning, okay? So, you are going to do that. Elbow, horse stance, elbow, elbow, jumping jack. Do it until you run out of time. Cool? Ready, get set, go. All right, so real quick, since there wasn't a Monday class, I do want to talk about your form briefly. I'm just going to add the extra part. Next week, we can put it all together. Next week, I do believe it's pre-test and stripe test, but we already got this part, right? So it's look, boom, 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 boom. If you've taken any Zoom or in-person classes, you might know past there, but you might not if you haven't. So we come back to ready after that. We're going to step back with our right foot. Check your hands again. Step back with your right foot. Your hands come up. Down, just like action karate form eight. You know it. You step back, up, down. Now our right leg is going to front kick, land forward. Our left leg, front kick, land forward. Now here comes the fun part. Let me just shrink you again. Bah. All right. So we just did front kick, front kick. Now we're going to step forward with our right foot, and we're going to drop to our knee. That's what our feet are doing. We're just stepping forward with our right foot and dropping to our knee. But with our hands, our left hand is pushing down like this, and our right hand is spearing. So you push down and spear. So what's happening is someone might have thrown a knee or a kick or even a punch, and you're pushing it down to block and spearing, right? This kind of spear, wants to face up and down, not like as opposed to these ones. These ones are usually used for throat. If you're going to do like, or stuff like this, you flip them. But there are many charges we could imagine for this. You could imagine you're pushing down the hand and spearing the throat. You could imagine you're pushing down a knee and spearing the solar plexus. There are like tons of options here. So we're going to do that again. We step back with our right foot. Hands come up, down, right leg, front kick, land, forward. Left leg, front kick, land, forward. We're stepping forward with our right leg. Push down and spear. One more time. I was going to say it in Spanish, but then I forgot. Yeah, I can't remember. I'm taking Spanish, guys, but I just... Whew, it's gone. All right, so we're here. Boom. Right leg. Front kick. Left leg. Let me just shove it back so I can kick the camera. Left leg. Front kick. Right leg step forward. Push down and spear at the right. Next. High five. Bah. So, I'm going to let you practice on your own. Work on accuracy, so I want you to focus on doing it right more than doing it fast or getting all the details for now. So with that part, I want you to just practice the moves, doing them right. If you've got that down, you can add in the first quarter. Right, so that's the end of the second half. So we have the first quarter that goes up to here. You can add that in if you feel comfortable. But if you haven't learned this part yet, to here, at least practice that first. All right, here we go.
All right, guys, so that's all for today. Hopefully you learned something about your form and your self-defense. Hopefully you had fun. And I will see you guys later. Later. Just next week. Whenever. Bye, guys.